Alright, so back again, welcome to another Rank Up TV2 video. But before we get into that, if you're going to buy anything from this game today, make sure you get it from rocketprices.com. The link's in the description, you can pretty much get anything you want from this place that's in or has been in this game, for a cheaper price that you find elsewhere, or from the game itself. Made it even cheaper with a 6% off code JET at checkout. So, this is 2v2 of course, just in case you haven't, know, haven't seen on the screen, quite obviously we are in champ, and on the right here you can see that we are in champ in 1v1 as well. That does mean the 1v1 series is finished, those that haven't seen that video a lot of people have done so if you want to see what happened in that and how that ended go and check that out it was a very good series i've actually got a best bits moment video come out as well we're going to see how that's come uh, how that finished and how that's how that was the whole series if you haven't been watching it already today's 2v2 ignore 3v3 i don't even want to look at 3v3 the state of it plat 3 for fuck's sake but even still 2v2 today we can get ourselves to champ 2 and this series will end when we hit champ 3 obviously restrictions for this is that only thing we can't do is score when we are winning I mean it's pretty much full play for me but i obviously can't score when we're winning making it possible for us to lose games obviously I, I, there'll be opportunities where i can't score and we'll have to stop myself from scoring and then they can go and score at the other end when i just put whatever reason they can score and then you kind of Put us a disadvantage that way, but if I do anything more than that, we won't be able to win any games here. Anyway, yeah, 2v2 time. Let's see if we can get us into champ 2 today. 5 out of 5. I think even 4 wins. Or 3, win, three games probably which we might even get us there. We'll see. All right, here we go. We're playing against RL Smurfs. 2005. That only means one thing. You probably think it's going to be a Smurf, but they've not gone for kickoff here. That's a sign of anything to come. They're not going to be Smurfs. You're only bit not a Smurf if you're doing that to try and save that. I want to say I'm not too sure why that's pissed me off, but it just has the fact you can try and call himself a Smurf and use that shit. Oh god, the standard champ one double commit. Oh, the standard champ one boost steal as well. Fucking cheers, teammate. Champ one is one of them ranks you just have to like play to understand what the wrong, what's wrong with it. It is an absolute fucking shit show. This rank, it really is. It's full of people that are boosted to start with. For some reason, champs like a fucking god place for some people. And you've got some actual people who are good and just stuck here because they get put with the people that are boosted and just can't win. It is an absolute mess. It's what used to be diamond free. Obviously now everyone's obsessed with champ. It's got like, oh my god. But ever since season three and the whole like, MMR drop they did in season three, it's kind of moved to champ one. And uh, that's exactly what this rank is like now. He's always complaining about diamond three and what that was. Now it's champ one. It's literally moved up a rank. I almost completely forgot that I'm not allowed to score. I need to keep that in mind. I'm not allowed to score from this point onwards. That's the restriction. So I can kind of just fuck about here. There's not really much else I can do. I can't really get on target in case it does go in. I have to score an own goal. So this is what's going to annoy me. But I can't score this. I just give it back to him. There you go, teammate. Score, son. Oh, that's the problem. It's going to be hard in that situation when he's going to expect me to go for it. I just don't. It's going to end up with a lot of mix-ups here. Go on. Yeah, nice. 2-0. We're going to win this game. These two are absolutely shit. I tell you what, that is a fucking brilliant finish. I'm a scumbag for demo him. I don't give a fuck. They're gone. They're finished. But look at this for a finish from a teammate. What a fucking finish that is. That is quality. Well, it looks like RL Smurfs for 2005 wasn't a Smurf. And if he was a Smurf, it looks like he's found his fucking level. He's wank. Well, I don't want people to think these restrictions are undercooked because uh, I feel like it's going to be easy. We've said this in every rank so far that I think it might be a bit easier than it should be. Why has he put a winky face? You're Wait, joking. what the fuck? What the actual fuck? He's got Smurf in his tag. He's a season three SSL tournament. I don't know if this kid's actually a Smurf. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know if he is or not. I can't tell. I can't tell he's actually good or he's just taking a piss and trying to act like he's a Smurf or he's boosted. What the fuck have I just seen? But he seems a bit shit, in all honesty. I don't really know what's wrong with him, but he seems a bit shit. As I was trying to say, I don't really think these restrictions are undercooked because you had this in every rank so far that people think they're undercooked because it seems easier to start the rank. But as soon as we get to the higher rank, oh my god, Jesus Christ. As soon as we get to the higher level of each rank, it does significantly get difficult. It gets significantly difficult. More, get significantly more difficult. Uh, as the rank progressed, because it really does become like, so for example, in like Diamond 1, it was, it well, that's probably a bad example. So Plat 1, it was pretty easy in Plat 1, and we got to Plat 3, and it started becoming difficult. Like, that's, that's how it's, this is going to be as well, I think. Right, we've got to defend against this kid, he seems to be quite mechanical. I think, I feel like he's, he's a Smurf, but he's not SSL. Obviously he's not, because look at him. He's put OMG himself because he fucking missed it trying to act like, oh, I usually do this quite well. I bet he doesn't. I bet he's the most boosted kid you'll see today. I bet he is. GC rewards from that season and he's got SSL tournament tag. 100% paid for that. Fucking sad act. Imagine doing all that. 
But can, can I just make a point here? Can you imagine taking this game this seriously? You think it's good to be able to pay for a tag like that? But, like, you, you, you're still shit. You're still fucking champ one. Like, how sad is that? The amount of money this kid must have paid to get them rewards on that tag. And you're still in champ one. Fucking, you must be sad, son. There is 1-1. One, one, and you couldn't see the chance I had a second ago. I couldn't score it. I can now score again. This is what makes it difficult. We can't really take solid leads and stuff like this can always come back to bite us eventually. I also don't know why my team is putting fucking wow as if I was meant to do something about that. As if he couldn't save it better than me. Doesn't matter, we're winning again. So shut up, Gandalf. Do you know what Foxworth more than anything about this kid? He is the biggest bull chaser I've ever seen. And he probably thinks he's so good because he got that tag and shit. And he's just trying to bull chase thinking, oh, you know what? I can just go really quickly and look, make himself look good. If this guy was an actual smurf, we would not be losing three fucking one. He's wank. He turned his turn to FF, but yours dog shit, mate. Look at him. 166. Claiming that he's a fucking smurf. Like, oh, mate, don't get me started. He's now blaming his teammate that it's his fault. Oh, I don't. Honestly, I'll lose my head. Jesus Christ. Honest to God, this is, this is tragic. He's blaming his teammate. I don't know what to, he's calling own goals now. This is this is a, like a prime example of what's bad about this game. People hate this game for good reason, and this is exactly why. People like this needs to fuck off. Six one man. It's fucking six. He's just abandoned the game. Good. You know what? I hope he goes down to fucking where he belongs in plat three. But like, there's just blatant boosted kids and they're trying to add out the bollocks. No, get yourself back down in plat. Learn to play the game. Then he can start chatting shit about teammates. He left to get banned. Yeah, well, cheers, Fletch. I don't give a fuck. <sighs> How many times have I filmed videos like this? I and mean, this happens. Once a fucking day. It happens every single day. Just sort it out. Right then, game 67. 68 or even of the uh, 2v2 series and we're still in champ 1 div 3 I feel like this win will get us to div 4 so that would be good we're nearly so very close to champ 2 I think we've got to win the next 3 games including this one to uh, get ourselves champ 2 today which would be very very good going to be fair oh Jesus oh Jesus Christ how can you straight up miss the ball still we're talking nearly champ 2 here and you're missing an easily bouncing ball like that I don't get it I got a little back. It's that easy. When you're one-on-one -on -one against champ players, it's so easy to beat them. You've only got to have a touch one way and shoot the other way. It goes in every single time. Back level, man. I can still score again here. Get us back in the lead. But these two actually don't seem that bad. But the stand in this game has been significantly higher than it has been so far. What a great goal that is, by the way. Oh, more classic champ one and activities. Now the OK spams come out. Get a really big like view of what champ one is. If you none of you seen champ one before, the old ch classic champ one double commit, the classic champ one abandon match, the classic champ one boost still, and the classic champ one OK spam. You've seen them all today. We should be able to defend against two champ one players. I mean, these guys are quite good actually. To be fair to them, probably might rank them more as champ two than champ one. Um, we should be able to defend against them for a minute and a half, especially if they're missing the ball like that. Classic champ one b ball miss. I can only see loads of them. Just see another one. What's wrong with them? Can't score this. I had to save it. I literally had to fucking save it. Teammate, please. Oh, mate. It's only one one goal still, which is which you, literally what the uh, point in the restrictions are. Um, so this happens and it's still like a tight game. It's still possible for us to lose, but I can't see it's losing. I mean, they're pissing with each other. There's not a single nice person in this rank. Everyone's always fuming. Easy as that. You're I can serious? read the fucking mouth. What are you spamming okay for? It's fucking readable. But yeah, another win. I, I don't know what wins you're rolling 2v2, but it's fucking flying at the moment. We're going to be Div 4 now. Look at that. So two more wins will be champ 2. Right, win this. Game 69. A lot of you will fucking have a laugh at that, I'm sure. But uh, you're all immature, so shut up. Anyway, that completely pointless dig aside. It's game 69. We are in champ 1 Div 4 now. So we're very close to champ 2. Keep this going. My teammate would piss off. It'd be nice. You're spamming thanks for what? You're spamming thanks for me making a better chance than you ever fucking would, mate. Just shut the fuck up. Now you're putting shit. I told you, everyone just fucking hates each other. What are you driving for me for now? Just grow up and get on a fucking game, you melt. Oh, it's a god, some people are so sad. Like, why are you getting pissy? We've played 50 seconds of a game. And you're spamming thanks and shit at me. It's nil-nil. 
Oh, what a goal. No, fuck, no, what are you going to say now? No, 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 fuck off. I hate that. I absolutely hate it. Fuck right off. Don't chat shit to me, and then start putting nice one when I do something good. You're not allowed to do that. You shut up and have your fucking plate after I just mugged you off for scoring a fucking worldie. Now he's having shit again. I don't care. I'm going to fucking bullshit the shit out of it now you've done that to me. But the worst part is, he's done it again. He's put shit again. I don't even know what to say anymore. It's always the worst people. It's always the angry kids that are the worst at the game. Now you're bumping me. Brilliant. Now you're bumping me. Really well. Really mature. Really mature, mate. Congratulations to you. You're now just going to throw the game because you're going to batter into me. You're going to lose. So well done. So you fucking gimp. Why can't people just, just know their place and just shut the fuck up and just, just tell that I'm miles better than I'm going to carry them? It's not hard, is it? Why has he got me this superstar? He's got 50 score in half a game. Because he's won this fucking season 7 champ tournament when he thinks he's got massive bollocks now, does he? Oh, get me. I've won a champ tournament. I'm so good at this game now. I'm nearly champ to me and everything I do must be fucking right, mustn't it, poony? Fuck off. I'm really annoyed me. I can't even put this game to bed. I have to give it to him. I don't want him to score. I don't want him to score. And now he's putting what a play. No, honestly, I'm just I'm out of shouting potential. I've had enough. I'm sick and tired of angry, being angry against this kid. He can fucking do one. I'm tempted to forfeit. I actually am tempted to forfeit, but I don't want to ruin a progress here because we are actually flying. I don't believe he's gone for that. I don't believe. I do not believe for a single second you've seen me go for a ceiling shot and still got up for it. Shoot! Where are you? What are you doing? Like, what are you... Oh, my God, this kid. This actual kid. What the fuck's he doing? Fucking gimp. I hope you concede. I hope you, I hope you lose. If there's any way of making him lose and me win, I would. But it's obviously not possible. Fuck off. Do everything I can to piss him off now. No problem, no problem, no problem. Well, there clearly, there was a clearly a problem at the start of the game. For whatever reason, even I'm blatantly carrying now, you've still got a problem with me. I don't know what it is. You're not scoring that. Neither are you. Right, you now try to score your own goals. This kid's got great banter. You know what? That's the, you know what my banter is? You know what my humour is, Poony? How about... Champ one banter is where you drive into your teammate who's carrying you, spam shit him who's carrying you, then try and score own goals when you tune him up and obviously going to win. Hilarious. Absolutely quality banter. These kids get better by the fucking day. What a tragic kid. He needs to learn some serious lessons he does. It actually is embarrassing. He's not going to get any further in this game if he keeps doing that. Right, well, game 70, we are now in ch well one game off champ two which is really really good going that does mean if we do win this game we are going to be one video potentially off going into champ two i mean this is awful what i was trying to say is we'll be one video off one five win streak off champ three in the end of this series we end the 2v2 and 1v1 we've obviously finished already so 2v2 could be finished in 75 games for the way this is going so far obviously it's a long time long way to go in this game i don't know what champ two is going to be like either but at the moment if it's anything like this it's absolutely piss maybe in reflection these restrictions were a bit loose but i mean i didn't think it'd be this easy i thought i'd actually have some kind of challenge going on but i think i overestimated their ability to score goals because that was the kind of thing i was Right, if that went in, I lost my head. I think that was what a base restrictions on. A base restrictions on them being able to score and kind of making it difficult in that I would have to kind of work for the goals, but I couldn't score whenever I wanted to, pretty much. Oh, it's absolutely filth. I can't score. That is absolutely perfect what I just did there. I've absolutely killed them all. I've rinsed him inside out. I've not been able to score, so I've rolled it up the pose as an easy goal from a teammate. I'm on fire. They have to score directly from kickoff. We're not going to lose this game, though. Go on, NT, mate. Score. Settle the game. Yeah, we're going to win this. I do feel like my restrictions are a bit loose. But I can't change them now. I have to wait and see what happens in a Champ 2. But I'd be quite guided if this 2v2 series had been really easy. Because that's not what I wanted. I want it to be hard. I want it to be challenging this end bit. This Champ bit. I want it to drag on for quite some time. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Don't go in. But his own goal it, so I'll take it. Do you know what I mean? I said this in the last video. If they end up own goal it, I haven't scored. So that's what I tried to do, just roll it towards the goal. He's fucking done it for me. I think this is embarrassing, the standard. It's awful. Look how much I'm absolutely tearing these kids inside out. Like, it's actually embarrassing how bad this is. I thought it would be a lot, lot harder than this. Hence the restrictions I gave it. Because when I'm trying to carry people, sometimes I do carry, try and carry people in champ, what, champ 1, champ 2, whatever. It's not this easy. I can tell you that it's never this easy. So why is it so easy now, the one time I kind of want it to be a bit challenging? It makes me now look like a dickhead for putting such easy restrictions on because people are probably thinking, what's the point? Just smurfing now. Oh my god. Oh my good god. No, no one can hit the ball. 
No one can hit the actual ball. It's embarrassing. I'm absolutely shocked at how bad this is. I really am embarrassed in a sense. But I actually thought it would be this good. Like, it's really... Like, I actually didn't think it would be this bad even. I thought it would be better than this. No one can hit the ball. Right, we're going to win this game. We're going to be champ two. We're also now on a 13 win streak. I think the highest we've had in this series is 19. It was in 2v2 as well, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 2v2 is proving by far the easiest mode. As it's my best mode, of course it is, but... Like, it, I, did, I did not think it'd be this easy. And now I'm quite disappointed. We've just flown through champ one like it was nothing. We're now in champ... No, we're not. Oh. We're not in champ two. That's interesting. I thought we'd be guaranteed in champ two, but we're not. So we are now going to have to probably take more than five games, I reckon, to get to champ two. So we might have quite an interesting next video. We'll have to wait and see. And that could be very, very tight in terms of whether we get it or not. Next will be uh, 3v3, so we're actually one game off champ 2, remember that for next time. One of one's finished out the equation, 3v3 will be next, an absolute shit show all round. We need to get ourselves a diamond. Here we are talking about champ 2, we're still in fucking plat 3. Considering they all start at the same rank, is so far behind. But anyway, that will be next. Go and check 1v1 out if you haven't, it's very, very entertaining. Uh, obviously the best bit of videos out. And hopefully I'll see you in the next 2v2 video, if not the 3v3.